All right, guys, this video that we're making here today is about if Jack Russell Terriers would make good dogs for apartment living. So stick around for just a minute and we will be right back. But today I'm out with the four-year-old son just taking Luna my two-year-old female Jack Russell Terrier for a walk and then I'm gonna come right back and discuss if these guys are gonna make good apartment dogs for you or not come on Ra, let's go take her for a walk now right, you come here you get your shoes chill dog is a lunatic. She's gotta go potty. Oh. Good girl, Luna. Good girl, Luna. Tell her good girl. Good girl. Come on. I, I can't hold her. I can't. All right guys, so let's start diving into it here about Jack Russell's being good apartment dogs or not. In my opinion, I would say that they would be just fine as an apartment dog, as long as you have days like today, a majority of the time, which is just me again and my four-year-old son taking her on a walk, I think you're gonna be okay. The biggest thing with these guys is exercise. So if you wanna do apartment living with a Jack Russell Terrier, make sure you're giving them that exercise all right guys so let's dive into if a jack russell terrier is going to make a good apartment dog so here is my opinion on this first off i do have a blog post on this topic on terrierowner.com you can check it out it's actually called do jack russell terriers make good apartment dogs if you just type do Jack Russell's make good apartment dogs into Google and find the result that says terrierowner.com. You can read some of my thoughts about that, but here's the kicker with going to that post to read it is I need to update it because I wrote that before I really had a chance to get to train and figure out what kind of behavior and temperament this little girl here was going to have. And it has shifted my view some. I do think it is 100% possible for a Jack Russell Terrier to make a great apartment dog, but there are some things that you definitely, definitely, definitely have to keep in mind if this is the approach that you want to take. First and foremost, if you want to adopt a Jack Russell Terrier living in an apartment, you're going to have to have a disciplined schedule. So you're going to want to be able to take these guys at least on a walk, some kind of run, any kind of exercise because in that apartment if they're cooped up they might find a way to get a little destructive whether that's chewing digging at carpet whatever the case may be the exercise is going to make a dramatic difference but here's the thing with that is i have to do the same thing and i have a fenced in backyard and i'm not in an apartment so at the end of the day we have the same workload when it comes to these guys it may just be slightly more important if you live in an apartment to make sure that you do get those things done. So if you want to adopt one, go for it, but make sure you get them on a walk or get them out every single day for at least, I would say 30 minutes to an hour. You can also check out my blog post that I'll put the link in the description below about how often these guys need to exercise, but that will be critical for them behaving and responding to training while living in that apartment with you. The next most critical piece of advice I can give you, sorry, she's being a little crazy. If you wanna keep one of these in an apartment is you have to crate train. I crate train, I believe in it big time. I have a completely separate video on this YouTube channel about the crucialness of crate training one of these Jack Russells. It helps with everything, potty training, behavior, them getting used to you leaving them. I'm assuming you have jobs or I'm assuming you have a social life, so Getting them used to being in a crate is gonna help you dramatically if you live in an apartment. It's gonna help you whether you live in an apartment or not. 
but invest in a crate right from the get-go. My recommended crate is one of the really basic Amazon basic crates. Get one of those, it'll help, and they're pretty cheap. I will put the link in the description below for mine, but that is a must-have, no question about it. Needs to happen if you're gonna keep one of these guys in an apartment. All right, next guys, if you wanna keep a Jack Russell in an apartment, my next tip is to realize that some separation anxiety will take place. Again, this is something that happened to me. I'm gonna set her down for a second. Even, even with living at in a house, not an apartment, but when you start that crate training, they're gonna be pretty whiny and pretty barky, and they will have a little bit of an issue when you leave them. So it is important to make sure that you are prepared for that separation anxiety. It's okay, it goes away, it doesn't last long. Just stick with it and don't give in when you're doing the crate training, and it will get better pretty quickly. All right guys, the next item of importance to discuss these little Jack Russells living in your apartment is being around kids. Make sure that in the beginning, as you can see, she's out with my four year old right now, but you want them to get around kids as soon as possible. You want them to start interacting, playing, learning how to play nicely, especially when you're gonna be in that enclosed space in that apartment with them. That way, you know, kids can get rowdy, so you don't want them rallying them up or mishandling them. So the earlier you can start that social socialization process, the better. All right, next guys. Biggest piece of advice living in an apartment with the Jack Russell is get them some toys, some bones. This is just one example. We have countless toys in the backyard, but you are going to need toys to give these guys to keep them occupied when they're out and about. In a small space like that, you'd be surprised how much they like these big bones for being little dogs. There's one of your examples. My big dog's actually trying to jump the gate over here to get his own. So to play fair, I'm gonna go ahead and give him one of them so he doesn't hate me. For the record, he would be out and about too, but I needed a little bit of peace and quiet to be able to shoot this video. So again, make sure you get these guys toys. Keep them occupied when they're not in a crate. Give them something constructive to do. I will also put the link in the description below to the toys that I have found the most useful for my Jack Russell. And I would get a bunch of them. They go through them very quickly. All right guys, my last piece of advice for you on this topic is have some patience. They're crazy dogs, they're hyper, but they're a ton of fun. They just wanna hang out, they wanna play. You can see how she's interacting with my four-year-old. If you give them that kind of time, attention, and love, it gets way better as time goes by. Stay patient, stay diligent with the training. Again, give them that exercise, give them those toys, get them inside of a crate, deal with their whining inside of that crate, and you can 100% have a Jack Russell Terrier at an apartment. This dog's a lunatic. All right guys, so that's about all I have for you on this topic here today. Again, don't hesitate to adopt a Jack Russell just because you live in an apartment. We do appreciate you guys stopping by. Again, make sure you like these videos if you're liking this content, if it is helpful to you. We wanna keep making it for you. Drop us some comments on what kind of videos you need from us, what would be helpful, and we will make that. We'll queue it right up and have that on our to-do list. Again, subscribe if you like it. Hit that notification button and we will see you guys again next time. Thanks for stopping by.